Having completed the series circuit, let's quickly go through the parallel circuits. In order to save time because the exams are near, I am giving in a very very nutshell all about parallel circuits. Generally the derivations of parallel circuits are never asked in the exam. I have never seen it in last 10 years or so. But still one should know because it's there in the syllabus. Parallel circuits. Parallel RL, parallel RC and parallel RLC circuits. Whenever there is a parallel circuit then we have a current source IT which is impressed across the parallel combination. Here we have RNL, the voltage being VT. Here we have RNC, the voltage being VT. And here RLNC, again the voltage being VT. And in parallel RLC also, we have VT. Now we write down the KCL at node in each of the case. IT is equal to IT incoming is equal to current through the resistor VT over R plus the current through the inductor 1 over L integral of VT DT. In second case, VT over R plus the current through capacitor is CDV by DT. And in the third case, VT by R, current through inductor and current through capacitor. Then we take the Laplace transform of each of them. IS is equal to VS over R plus 1 over L VS by S. IS is equal to taking common 1 over R plus 1 over SL multiplied by VS. Solving it, we get SLR over SL plus R and by the usual procedure, we have taken out L common. So L gets cancelled. So we are left with SR into IS over S plus R by L. Okay. Now depending upon what, whatever is the value of IS, R and L, we can find out VS and then take the uh, partial fraction if there is a need because if IS can be anything and uh, Thereafter, on inverse, you'll get the value of voltage Vt, which is the unknown here. Similarly, here on taking Laplace transform, this becomes Vs over R, C, and dV by dt becomes S Vcs minus Vc0. Here, for simplicity, we have taken Vc0 as 0. So, the term 1 over R plus 1 plus Sc gives you Vcs. So, whatever response you are going to get is zero state response because the state has been assumed to be zero. If it is present, nothing to worry upon. There will be additional term incorporated with it and accordingly one more term will appear in the final result. So here you are having Vs. Vs is same as Vcs. Actually, the voltage across capacitor is the same as the voltage um, output voltage which is uh, taken out. So Vs is equal to R over SCR plus 1 into Is. Again, taking out RC, RR gets cancelled and C in the numerator gives you 1 over C divided by S plus 1 over RC into IS. Similarly, in RLC circuit, all the three terms are there, VT by R, 1 over L, VT DT and CDV by DT. And similar process as we have done here on taking Laplace transform, collecting the terms, taking initial condition 0, we arrive at the result VS is equal to S into R by C of is s square plus 1 over c s plus r over l c now up to here the derivation is common and depending on the input current it it can be unit step unit ram unit um, uh, parabolic exponential or sinusoidal sinusoidal cases we are going to take up um, at the last we get is then we split it into partial fraction and obtain voltage vt by taking the inverse Laplace transform. Let's do some numerical which are having series parallel combinations and which have appeared in previous year papers. So here are some of the numericals. The first one which appeared in 2018 and it was of seven and a half marks and you will see how it has been solved in very very brief uh, manner and everything is very very understandable you can understand it because you have done much more difficult questions earlier there are two sources 12 volt and 16 volt iske liye pareshan mat ho jaiye ki ha hum logo ne to ek source ka kiya tha ya do source hai aap question ko dhang se padhiye fir aage attempt kijiye question mein likha hai at steady state with switch on ye switch pehle on tha the inductor was behaving as a short circuit 
and after the switch has been opened at t is equal to 0 you are required to find out it so when the switch is on for a long time at steady state it has been replaced by short circuit and here we are finding out iss what is iss steady state current there are two sources we will use two circuits best possible method and apply superposition theorem so first one 16 volt source has been replaced by short circuit and the current i1 is in the branch where one henry was connected so 12 divided by 2 because there will be no current flowing through this because the potential across this resistor has become 0 because of the short circuit so i1 is equal to 12 by 2 becomes 6 ampere similarly when you remove this source 12 volt it is replaced by short circuit and from here the current is going and 16 divided by 4 so i2 becomes 4 amperes adding these two we get iss as being equal to 10 ampere and whatever is the value of iss the same will be the value of i0 minus for the inductor so we write down i0 is equal to i0 is equal to 10 ampere this is the initial condition of the inductor and now the question is reduced to a simple uh, rl network as it can be seen after the switch is opened the whole of this circuit goes out and we are left with one resistor of 2 ohm and one henry uh, pure inductor so the initial condition i have written it in bracket here so 12 volt 2 ohm and one henry apply kvl 12 minus 2 into it minus LDA by DT that is 1 into DA by DT is equal to 0. Taking Laplace transform 12 gives you 12 over S, 2 IT taking on the right hand side 2 IS and DI by DT Laplace is SIS minus I0 and I0 is equal to 10 so we replace it here. Now S plus 2 into IS has become equal to 12 S plus um, 20, uh, 10 which will give you 12 plus 10 S take out 2 common it will give you 5 S plus 6 over s into s plus 2 split it up into partial fraction a over s plus b over s plus 2 determine the value of a it will come out to be 6 determine the value of b it will come out to be 4 and you will have this result which on taking laplace inverse taking laplace inverse laplace inverse gives you it is equal to 6 plus 4 e raised per minus 2 t into ut this is the answer if you have done from here to here you are sure to get seven and a half marks. Hmm. The next question, it had appeared in 2017 and was asked for five marks. Find the time at which the DC source, 10 UT, delivers a current of 500 milliampere in the circuit below. After Closing the switch K at T is equal to 0 second. It means the switch is closed at T is equal to 0 and you are required to find out the value of IT. It can be done in various ways. One way could have been first find out the current through this branch. <coughs> then estimate what will be the transient current through this branch. Add both of them and get the value of IT. Another approach could be that combine these two, have the complete impedance and then using the normal KVL determine the value of IS and hence IT. First we transform this circuit by transform impedance method. In this method, the voltage source will be replaced by its Laplace transform. So 10 UT becomes 10 over S. IT becomes IS. 50 ohm remains as it is. 10 ohm rem remains as it is. And the capacitor value 100 mu is replaced by 1 over SC. Which is the impedance in transform domain of any capacitance. Imagine that. Adding these two because they are in series, it gives us 10 plus 1 into 10 to the power 4 over S, which becomes 
then S plus 10 is for 4 over S. 10 can be taken out common. So S plus 1000 points. Now this impedance and 50 ohm, they are in parallel. So we find out what is the combined impedance. Parallel combination of 50 ohm and this impedance. 50 into this whole divided by 50 plus this whole gives us this value which after small modification becomes this. <laughs> Take out 10 and then cancel it out. It will become 50 S plus 1000 divided by 6 S plus 1000. Now you have ZS you know what is Vs. So overall Is can be known just by dividing Vs over Zs. That gives you 10s over this impedance, which on solving gives you 6s plus 1000 over 5s s plus 1000. Now our aim is to bring this 5 in the numerator. So we divide both these terms by 5. So 6 by 5 S plus 200 over S into S plus 1000, which after partial fraction splitting, directly I have given the values. You can check it out. 1 over 5 over S plus 1 over S plus 1000, which I'm taking Laplace inverse, 1 by 5 UT, UT is brought on side, 1 over S plus 1000 gives you E S plus minus 1000 T UT. So now this is the value of current which is flowing in the circuit, transient current. The question is asked that determine the time at which the DC source, this one, delivers a current of 500 milliampere. So the current which is of this nature, 1 by 5 plus E raised to the power minus minus 1000 so 1 by 5 is the minimum which it will have and we are required to find out what is the value at which the value of current becomes half of this so 500 milliampere which is uh, in ampere is 0.5 million 0.5 ampere 0.5 is equal to 1 by 5 plus this so this gives you 0.3 and on solving T becomes 1.2 millisecond, which is the answer. Start. This is a question of Van Valkenburg, unsolved question, and later on it has been copied by various authors. In the circuit shown, the switch K is closed at T is equal to 0 with the network previously unenergized, means the inductance and capacitance have zero initial conditions. We are required to find out the value of IT, I1T and I2T. Now, since the video length has also been quite long, I would recommend that this question, you can solve it yourself. Pause the video right now and try this. I'm giving you a hint. In such type of questions where the initial conditions are zero, always use direct method of transform circuit where this whole thing can be represented as an impedance. This whole thing can be represented an, as an impedance. Take the parallel combination, add 10 ohm onto it. And thereafter, for this voltage source, find out what is the IS value of current. Then by using partial fractions, find out IS, I1S and I2S. For your ready reference, I have solved the question. After finding out IS, I1S and I2S, the Laplace transform can be taken by splitting it into parcel fraction please do it yourself and if you have any questions just put in comments and we'll give you the exact answer to it thank you